Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I am excited to announce that I am giving away 35 new demo layouts for the Divi Taxonomy Helper plugin. So what we did was create these layouts, the, styled the module on our demo site, and then we've added an option for you to download each of those. So basically this post is just saying, hey, these are available. Here's how to do it. So let's take a look. So in the blog post over here, we explain a little bit about it. Uh, we just like to give back and provide value to existing customers because obviously these layouts would only be valuable to customers. So if you're a member of our membership, the Divi Adventure Club, or if you have purchased the Divi Taxonomy Helper, then here you go. This is for you. So you can go ahead and open up the demo site link. Um, we have demos for like blog post categories, WooCommerce product categories, um, event categories. So that would be great for the events calendar and then for the portfolio, the projects. And, and you could do any other post type, but those are the four that we've done as far as demos. So let's take a look at them first. So first of all, just head on over to the demo site demos.pacreative.com slash Divi Taxonomy Helper. And this will just navigate link down through to the page. So here you can see a grid of four. Um, I don't think I'll really commentate on these a whole lot, but just um, just to show you. And, and obviously everything here is customizable, of course. I'm just showing you what is possible. Um, each one of these is, again, they're not blog posts their categories. So if when you would use this on your website, so like here, if I click on view posts, you know, in the CrossFit category, right? Does that make sense? That's what this plugin is. So, um, yeah, so it's a category display and, and you can see some of these, uh, you know, the demo might be for posts or, you know, for products or whatever you're using it for. It doesn't really matter. Blog posts, then um, we say, you know, we can customize the text of the button. So we may say view projects like here. That would be like any projects that are excavating, you know, related. So you go and then you'd see a list in the blog module of, of the individual um, projects. <laughs> okay. So here's like photography, um, di different things here. Now here's a good one. So this is kind of one that you'll see on WooCommerce stores where you have categories. So now you can display the categories of your shop and of course you can choose which ones you want, but you can see we're using that new feature that the entire um, taxonomy term is clickable. Here you can see we've used the feature where the background is a little different for each category. And this is a really good example of what, what it is. So if I click on belts, you know, there's gonna be then a page where there's a list of belts. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, and so, you know, the design is up to you. We tried to show a lot of different styles. Um, there are 35 of them here. I just realized that I am temporarily hiding them right here. Well, the reason I did that was to take the screenshot, little little trick there. So I hid the, the you know, I say like post demo one, and then here's download. So if I click this download button, it will prompt a download you know window here and you'll see that on every single one so what it will download let me be clear about this it will download the section it will not download the row or the module but the section so right here this white area is what this would download okay I hope that's clear so like this dark section if I click download it's going to be this entire section the other very important part here is that it will be a Divi library layout. So what I mean by that, and I, and I talk about this over here on the blog post, um, I have the screenshot, but then at the bottom here, I say how to download. So you go to the live website where we are, but then how to install them. Here we're saying about importing them. You must go to the Divi library. Let me show you that. So go to your website, go under Divi menu, Divi library. 
So then up there at the top, if you don't have these notices here, it'll be on the top left here, but right here. So import and export. If you click that, the second tab here, import. So you'll click on that and then say choose file and then go pick that file and then click import. So the reason that I'm making a point of this is you couldn't just go to your page settings and try to import it to the page. Uh, the reason for that is because I've exported it from the library. In fact, you can see them here in my library, the ones that I saved. So I've exported them from here. That means you have to import them to here because I didn't want to export this entire page, right? Because if I had done that, then you would import this and you would have all of them and then you'd have to delete 34 of them or so, you know what I mean? So I thought it best to do this as sections. So what I did was I saved them to the library and then that's where you have to um, import them to. So I hope that is clear. Oh yeah, and then the other kind of uh, disclaimer or whatever is that one interesting thing about these kind of layouts is that this is the styling applied to the module, to the taxonomies module. Now, you won't, like when you import this, this image and this text and this title, that won't, that won't be included because that's, that has to be done on your site. This is the module, right? So what, what you would do is, you know, like if you're doing post categories, go to categories and you're in the back end of your WordPress site and see here, you can see that we have, if I click on cappuccino here, you can see that I have a description, I have the title and then I have the image right here. You would need to do that. There's no way for me to somehow know which post type and taxonomy you would want. And then what you would do is come here to the blue section, click on the blue and then add from library and then choose the one that you've uploaded. Okay. So like Divi taxonomy helper events demo seven, you could click on that and then it will load it here and it will just be the module and this image and these, these texts will be whatever you have in here. Okay. One last thing I would really, really appreciate if you could leave a review on the product page. In fact, I'll link that in the tutorial right here. I say, leave a review. So if you click this, it will go to the product page and it will scroll down to the reviews section. So just, you know, click here and type your review and submit. You have to be logged in. It really doesn't take long. I timed it and it took like 40 seconds. That would really help us because that adds like the star. See over here on the side, like the, the yellow stars show up. Um, so that helps when someone's looking for um, the plugin and wants to hear from you. Um, they, they really mean a lot to us. Hope you've enjoyed this. We're going to be doing free layouts like this for uh, most of our products, the ones that are relevant. So you can stay tuned for them, especially if you're a customer of the individual plugins or a member of the Divi Adventure Club.